lunchtime downtown on the Mid-America Mall. And for those who are working or shopping or are just browsing, it's time to make a selection for lunch. And we think we'll do the same thing. But it's going to depend on what we're having. If the hour will be spent doing some shopping, maybe something to nibble on. Peanuts, for example, will do. Or if the day is warm, just a bit of ice cream. We're walking north on the mall. There are some familiar places, some many of us remember from earlier years, when a stop at the drugstore or the five and dime meant lunch, or maybe a Sunday or malt. Those places are surrounded by new businesses now, with modern names, new specialties for the downtown area. Some places are as downtown as downtown itself, and whether it's shopping for weekly groceries or only for a quick lunch, they always seem busy, catering to those shoppers who, for whatever reason, are downtown. A mixture of interests, tastes, destinations. That is the picture of the people downtown at noon on the mall. For the owners of restaurant and food outlets, there may be good fortune in that mixture. A taste for their product means business, and that, they feel, is good business for downtown. They think the area is doing well in that respect and are pretty proud their establishments are there. Uh, I think the future is, uh, is not in big, big money spending. The, the six or seven or eight million dollars it took to put the mall here in the first place was needed. That was the impetus for the government, okay? Now it's up to the private person to make use of the people that the government put here for us. And uh, if uh, those businesses which aren't making it down here probably won't have much to offer. Um, complaints are maybe about construction. They're fixing it up. Uh, if I had designed it, I maybe would have done it different. But as opposed to not having them all, it's fantastic. Like John Bottenfield, who opened his Oblio's food establishment around the same time the mall was taking shape, Erica Seipel and Maddie Smythe are also members of the newer breed of restaurant owners in the downtown area. Erica's on second offers both German and American fare and enjoys a heavy noontime crowd. Usually it is, and it usually is heavy from about, what, 11.30 to about uh, 1 o'clock, and then it slacks off. I see you draw from other areas of town, not only downtown as well. People are coming in from... They oh, really? Uh -huh. People who go shopping downtown usually combine the lunch eating with the shopping, or if they have to come down to the federal offices or anything like that, then they come in here for lunch. Mm -hmm. If people come from Germantown for lunch. Yeah. In their two years, there has been no change in their personnel. Basically, nothing has changed, and they say they'll stay. Oh, that's why we came downtown. Because we were in Bristol downtown all along, and we knew we could come back. Have you seen a, a growth in eating places uh, around here? Uh, if anything, probably more eating places try to get open than anything else. There's been some 30, over 30 establishments opened uh, that I can think of real quickly in the last three years of which 16 have closed already, but probably 80% of them are food, probably because with uh, the tremendous amount of people that are here on the mall for, for the two hours during lunch, yeah. all the business folks, irregardless if shoppers come or not, uh, you could stand out in front and ring a bell and get enough people in your establishment if, if the food's good enough to make money on it. Should there be a greater variety? Uh, more types of places. Too many copycats. Yeah. Uh, I won't mention any, not downtown exactly, but in Memphis and everybody knows about them. We'll have uh, one outfit open up with a successful formula of this, this, and this, and this. Okay, then immediately another place opens up with the exact same formula. And I know of uh, one particular with the hamburgers and roast beef and pie, but about five or six different people are, are, are opening, and they just are not all going to make it. I don't think people want uh, repetition. They want to come uh, and get something different. And if anything will help downtown, it's the, uh, somebody with something a little bit different that they can't get anywhere else. Yeah. Not that they copied from someone else. Yeah. Your idea for this all american type hot dog place, 
Was that an original, your idea? Yeah, uh, I thought of it when uh, the mall was under construction and I watched the, uh, the peanut store here and the ice cream store. And I sat there and uh, with a, just a little list, I guess you'd call it a marketing study, but I just sat there with a pencil and a piece of paper and uh, 20 people went in in a 10 minute period and 20 people came out and if they each you know, bought 50 or 75 cents worth and during the same time the people were going in and out, 15 people would walk away because they couldn't get served. So all I had to do, again, without copying or peanuts or ice cream, was come up with something else. <laughs> Hot dogs was the easiest I'd never been in the business. Yeah. An idea that worked out because you've been very successful. Yeah, and it's really evolved, too. It wasn't intended to be the monster that it is. Uh, it's no secret that the prices are almost double what they were three years ago. But just because of, uh, to serve somebody fast, you can't skimp and serve somebody fast. You just have to go like this and the hot dog evolved into the monster that it is, and I just adjusted the price up with it, and nobody, uh, if anything, people st still say, you know, it's a good deal, or how do you do it? So which makes me think maybe I should raise a little bit more. But I just follow whatever my food cost is and uh, make a reasonable profit. Spokesmen for the Center City Commission say there are 51 restaurants in the downtown area, including sandwich shops and restaurants and department stores, large office buildings, and private clubs. So at noon, what may appear to be a not so broad field of choices may indeed be the exact opposite. It depends on the tastes, the interests, the people, downtown at noon. <laughs>